Hey, what's up, YouTube? Breadbird here, back with another New World video. Today, we're going to talk about Gypsum, a new system that's going to be put into New World. Now, Gypsum is a new material in New World. Uh, you can get it by doing lots of different activities. Uh, almost anything when you reach in game uh, will give you Gypsum. It's uh, so today we're going to talk a little bit about each type of gypsum, uh, how you will get it, uh, what you can do with it, and what the best strategy is to utilize your gypsum every day in an effective manner. First and foremost, you have obsidian gypsum. You will get that by defeating level 60 plus open name bosses, typically found in elite landmarks. You can get this once a day. And the best way to do this is just do your elite chess runs. Uh, you'll get uh, boss kills, therefore they will drop Obsidian Gypsum. And that will also help you increase your expertise level as well. Killing two birds with one stone, just because you will be increasing your expertise while farming it as well. Uh, the next one is Sapphire. Now Sapphire is defeating the final boss of the Lazarus Instrumentality or Garden of Genesis. Uh, this does have a pretty decent sized wall compared to the other Gypsum. You do obviously have to have a expedition key or be in a group with a key. These keys are still pretty difficult to form at the moment, though I could see them changing that in the future. Uh, so, so by killing the boss in either of those two expeditions you killed this day will drop uh, your Sapphire Gypsum. You'll be able to come back here uh, and craft your casts uh, with that. It is important to note, though, you will be also increasing your expertise while running the expedition as well. So pretty fruitful, just that does have that a barrier there of the expedition or uh the next one is emerald now emerald uh it will be found in your trade skill aptitude reward containers this involves a new system with crafting you can go past 200 uh, into these uh aptitude rewards uh there are three aptitude rewards with for each aptitude level uh your first chest that you open that day uh should include your emerald gypsum uh so the next one is citrine uh, citrine uh, are found in the arena caches. This is basically, again, going to need a tuning orb for this. The arena orbs are a little easier to get or come by. Uh, Amethyst is the next one that we're going to talk about. Uh, it's found in breach caches. Uh, you'll just farm corrupted portals. This should be seven portals. Not too bad. But as it stands, you probably just want to go to the lowest level of breach. You can solo these, get your Amethyst gypsum, and move on. So, uh, Ruby Gypsum, these are found in Outpost Rush. Just run two Outpost Rush matches, win, lose, or draw. You're going to get the Ruby Gypsum, and then again, you get to create another cast that day. The next Gypsum we have is Topaz Gypsum. Now, Topaz Gypsum is a little bit different than the rest. You will need a consumable to activate the drops of this Gypsum. Here is the current iteration of the Attunement Potion that you will need to drop the Topaz Gypsum. Uh, you basically will need one of each of the different elemental uh, insects or amphibians or, or fish or whatever these are. Uh, you'll just need one of each that will allow you to craft the potion. It lasts for 60 minutes and you'll be able to kill any monster that's level 55 or higher. Now, it doesn't specify that the monster needs to be elite. So this should be a pretty fun one to farm out. You just go around AOE, kill some uh, lower level mobs. Uh, potentially get your weapon mastery up while you're doing it. Overall, a fun little activity to get your gypsum and your expertise leveled up. Now, the final type of gypsum that we'll be talking about today is diamond gypsum. It's a newly added gypsum. Uh, they just put this on the PTR. It's basically only found during certain events in a turnum. Uh, the first event just happens to be the Winter Convergence Festival that's going to be happening in the next week or so. Level 60 players will be able to earn this gypsum when interacting with their first three trees of light a day. So you will basically just run to these trees once a day, interact with the exquisite gift pile underneath the tree, and you should get one diamond gypsum and an exquisitely wrapped present. Now, of course, you care about the gypsum. You will just go to three of these different settlements, get one gypsum from each of the three trees that you interact with, Bada bing, bada boom, you get your expertise level up for the diamond gypsum for the day. Now, once you obtain enough gypsum to create a gypsum orb, you'll just go to the gypsum kiln located in the in-game settlement of your choice. You will click uh, craft right here in the bottom corner, and that will make you your first gypsum orb. So what you'll do with these gypsum orbs 
is create a cast. Now, this is where you get to choose what gear slot you do want to get your expertise level increase up in. Uh, basically, uh, you can choose any weapon, any piece of armor, or any piece of jewelry. For the sake of this demonstration, uh, we are going to go ahead and pick the Ice Gauntlet. It, our current expertise level of 520. Uh, we will go to the Gypsum Kiln, select Ice Gauntlet, and then craft our cast. So as you see, once we open up the Ice Gauntlet cast, we should get an increase from our 520 expertise. As you can see, we got an increase of four in our expertise. And now you see the expertise level of our Ice Gauntlet has updated in our UI. Now you'll notice that once you craft a particular cast for the day, it will put it on a cooldown. Uh, it's basically gonna be a day cooldown on this, so you cannot craft a particular cast more than one time a day. So it's important for you to use uh, your H gypsum wisely. Make sure that you use it on the weapons that you like to use, making sure you use it on your jewelry to catch it up with the rest of your weapons and armor uh, from the previous high watermark system. Uh, there weren't a lot of access to jewelry uh, before this patch. Uh, they are adding some uh, more jewelry drops in the open world, but at, to, at this point, the, basically the only way you could level up your jewelry, high watermark, or what is your expertise now, was to run a lot of expeditions. Uh, so don't forget your jewelry. And again, uh, make sure you get any of the weapons that you like to use up to 600 as well. Now, some quick tips if you're running low on time each day, or maybe it's during the work week, you don't necessarily have uh, more than a couple hours to play the game and you want to optimize your gypsum. I would say you'd want to go ahead and get your diamond gypsum every day. You just run to those trees of life, you grab those, you craft that gypsum cast, and you get your automatic expertise upgrade for whatever you want. So the next one I would have to recommend would probably be the obsidian gypsum. Now, uh, these are easily farmed out if you've done a forecastle drift run or if you've done a mine run up in the uh, northern part of the map in the Shattered Mountain uh, in this area. These areas are pretty easily ran with a group of five. Uh, if you're on a populated server, sometimes you can just hop into a group. So go ahead and do that run. Uh, get your obsidian gypsum. It should be pretty quick. A lot of these runs can be done, especially in a group of five in about 30 minutes. You might even get an expertise increase or two on that run. Uh, another one is Outpost Rush. Those matches, if they're one-sided, they don't take very long at all. But even if they're competitive, they were probably gonna last around 20 minutes. To this point, we're in about an hour and 30. You've already gotten your three gypsum casts. Uh, the last one I would say you would want to probably try is a trade skill aptitude reward. If you're a crafter, uh, you can go and get in a portal group and, and run breaches. Those usually don't take very long. Those should be found in any of those level 25 portals. So you can even go out and solo uh, a level 25 portals until you get you enough gypsum to craft your cast. The ones I would stay away from specifically are the Satfire and the citrine gypsums. Those gypsums require a tuning orb to get every day. And not only will you need to use the mat or to craft a tuning orb or potentially pay for a tuning orb, you're gonna have to go through that expedition as well. Now you could get some expertise upgrades in the expedition, but again, you need that key to get in, which is a barrier uh, of entry that, that the obsidian gypsum and other gypsums don't necessarily have. Now, again, I would definitely stay away from the sapphire and the citrine gypsum if you're low on time. All right, guys, well, that about does it for the new gypsum system in New World. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, which ones you're most excited about obtaining, which items expertise will you be leveling up first when you get access to gypsum. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.